Hello there, Stuart from LARP Book here, and I'm here with Matt. <laughs> so, hi Matt, good good to actually uh, meet you here, oh. along the rest of it, at, at Tank LARP. Tank LARP. 2021, folks, yeah. It's madness. It's madness. <laughs> was it, as, as Ian says, it's Tank. tanks, it's LARP, LARP. It's, it's madness. madness. Uh, I think that's the new catchphrase uh, <laughs> by, by the sound of it. Right, so um, tell me a little bit about what's been going on in the game and, and, and what have you, and, and how the battle map actually helps this side of things. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the entire campaign area that this game is set in. Okay. Uh, this is a different map. A very fancy vinyl <laughs> made up map that they've done right. uh, to the map we had at the previous event and so we're getting new terrain, new territory to fight over from last event and it's uh, a beautifully detailed, so we have mountains and the city yeah. and what's basically happening here is we're in, there is a neutral town called Craterton which this encampment and the Gul'dan encampment are just on the outskirts of, okay. just far enough apart that neutrality is being observed. But outside of the, this immediate area is a larger war zone. Okay. And we're pushing our troops through this war zone and trying to get the better of one another with a combination of the orders that I can issue as a field officer and the special abilities that we can grant to units with our logistics officers right. um, who, yeah. uh, and, and writing. Lots and lots, lots. of writing. <laughs> I, have, I have you heard that from me. And, oh, good, another note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, so how... How much does this give you then, information-wise? Because obviously the information gets fed back and the battle map gets updated as time goes on, yeah? Yes. Um, we, there was a lot of fog of war here, actually. Okay. We obviously have perfect knowledge of our own unit's positions, yeah. but we're not directly in control of them. Right. So what we do is we can move some of these small tokens around. These are representatives of our, of our literal fast strike forces. So okay. if we want to do a mission, we lit the, this token is on a mine at the okay, moment. I'm right, mining yeah, the map. Yeah, yeah. And yesterday evening was like we saw the mine on the map, so we want to check out that mine. Got you. And we uh, got in there. Uh, headed over to the uh, skirmish area and fought a battle where our forces encountered some Gul'dan scouts Got you. and took them out and, con and secured control of that mine. So it is now producing iron for the glorious Reviron um, Empire. Got you. But uh, we don't have direct control of the bigger pieces. Instead, we can help them and uh, issue recommendations and beg them and plead with them <laughs> to please go this way because yeah. we've got a plan. Yeah. So, so some of this is basically done uh, virtually to a degree then? Yes. Yeah? And then some of the things that you basically issue here actually happen in real life, as it were, yes. with, with, within the game, mm. where an actual skirmish yeah. takes place or an actual tank battle mm. or that sort of thing. So as, a, as a field officer, I literally have the ability, crew and monster crew permitting, to request a mission with a parameter like the thing we did with the mines here and say we want to go here and we want to find out what's going here and do something here and if the crew are able to they'll accommodate us with a half hour uh, skirmish Not yet. which we can then f either fail or succeed yeah so yeah. we actually have a lot of influence over our own games and what we're trying to achieve uh, yeah, on the on the small scale yeah and of course the other factions also also have have the exactly. similar things exactly well. they have the same yeah. ability you know so oh yeah okay right so um well, thank you very much. It, it's, it's, I think it's opened up a bit more of an idea of, uh, you know, because whenever we talk about tank LARP, it's yep. tanks and tanks LARP. Tanks and LARP. Right? But of course, there is so much more to this game. Yes, it's tanks and LARP and writing Think. endless scraps of paper orders, <laughs> pleading with people to please send your army in the direction we, <laughs> want, we want, because we know you're going to be attacked in, in the next couple of turns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Well, Matt, thank you very much. It right, was my it was pleasure. An absolute joy to see all of this as well and Absolutely. see how it works within the game. Yeah. So there we go, folks. It's not just tanks and LARP, right? There's a whole game system and, uh, well, politics, the whole kit and caboodle. So anyway, just keep looking on the YouTube channel, keep looking on Facebook, keep looking everywhere that we are for other things to do with tank LARP and things that are coming up. Bye, folks.